Hey, what's up, guys? I am in my hotel room in Frankfurt, Germany. Now, right down the road as we speak, Music Mess Up Pro Light and Sound is going on. One of the biggest music trade shows in the world. And I've been to a lot of them. This one is huge. And all the buzz in the DJ community is something that's in the Pioneer booth. On a turntable going around and around and closed in glass is a turntable that looks suspiciously like a Technics 1200, probably like a Mark II with a few changes. Now, it says Pioneer on it everywhere, and there is a little piece of black tape covering up the model number. And there's been some strong opinions on Pioneer making a turntable. Some people say, well, they're ripping off techniques and nothing beats techniques and stick with techniques. Why would you go with this player? Well, first of all, let's talk about what we know. We know that Technic started making the 1200 series in 1972. That's right, 1972. Now, the Mark II, which is the one we know with the picture control we DJ with, came out in 79, and Panasonic, who is the parent company of Techniques, discontinued this in 2010. So, yes, you can go into a shop, and they probably still have some 1200 sitting around, or 1210s, or whatever, but it's, it's old stock. It's stuff they've stocked up on because they were no longer going to make them. So a lot of dealers just bought as many as they could, and the prices have gone through the roof, even in the used market. I personally own four Technics 1200s and two 1210s. So I kind of know a thing or two about how this works. The market has gone insane on these things because they've been discontinued. We know that. What else do we know? We know Pioneer makes their own stuff, and there's been a lot of speculation. Here's what I think happened here. I don't think... Pioneer's ripping anybody off. I think Pioneer bought the rights, and they may have even bought the tooling from Technics and Panasonic, because what's happened in the last few years is there's been a resurgence for records. People are buying records again. Yes, they really are. They're for sale. You can buy brand new records, and they're pricey sometimes. Also, you've got a lot of softwares out there that have changed recently. For instance, Serato is going with Serato DJ, which is now an open source. Now with an open source, that means you don't have to buy just the Rain product anymore. Pioneer is making a lot of things for Scratch DJ. And part of Scratch DJ is time-coded vinyl. I'm just doing the math here, folks. This is what I think is happening. It's not the only turntable at Music Master Pro Light and Sound this year, but it's definitely the one that's caught the most buzz, and I'm excited to see what happens. Now I've heard through the grapevine this is a prototype, it's not in production, we're just kind of testing it out and getting some feedback on it. I call bullshit on that. I bet they're making them right now and I bet they're going to launch this summer or in fall. Let's see what happens. Let us know what you think down here in the comment section. Until next time, practice and enjoy.